Perfect. Perfect. Hello everyone, this is chapter 1, lesson 1 1.2, and today we are going to be talking about order of operations. Now, order of operations, there's a specific word that we do need to remember, and that, that word is PEMDAS. Okay, I'm going to tell you everything that these means. So P stands for parentheses. Let me write it nicer. I'll write it this way. So P stands for parentheses. Okay, the E stands for exponents. Okay, make sure you write this down. The M stands for multiplication. The D stands for division. A stands for addition. And S stands for subtraction. Okay, the word again is PEMDAS, P E M D A S. Now, I'm going to explain to you. This is kind of like the the explanation that the book gives. And I kind of like it. So let's see. It says perform operations in grouping symbols. So there might you might see symbols like this. So those are parentheses. Or sometimes you might see parentheses that look like this. Okay. Those are called brackets. Next, it says evaluate numbers with exponents. Right. So parentheses first then exponents right so we're doing our exponents like a to the second power we just learned about that in lesson 1.1 then here's the next important thing and this is very important it says multiply and divide from left to right so just like you would read a book from left to right now let me give an example about this let's say you have three divided by one times two how would you solve this? Well, you would solve it just like we said from left. You start all the way from the left over here, right? And then we would go that way. So we'd start with the division first, three divided by one, and then we would multiply. The more we practice this, the more it's going to make sense. Okay. And then the last thing is also to multiply from, or sorry, to add from left to right. So I'm going to add a few things to this. Right here. So this right here, we're going to go, I'm going to write L to R. I hope you know that means left to right. And then for addition and subtraction, that also means left to right. The more we practice, the better we'll get at it. All right, so let's do our first example. So here's our first example. We have 12 minus 2 times 4. Well, let's ask ourselves, PEMDAS. Do we have any parentheses? No parentheses. I'll write the word up here so we can see it. PEM. Does. Do we have any parentheses? No. Do we have any exponents? No. Do we have multiplication? Yes. All right. We always do multiplication and division before we do addition and subtraction. So we're going to solve this first. Let's do this. What is 2 times 4? Well, 2 times 4 is 8. Don't forget to rewrite the problem. And now we can solve what addition and subtraction from left to right. 12 minus 8 equals 4. So the answer for this problem is all right, let's try another one. Whoa, look at this one. This one looks scary. I promise you it is not that scary. All we need to do is show all of our work. And if we show our work, I bet you we can get it done. So let's try it right now. All right, first things first. So PEMDAS, let's start. P-E-M-D-A-S. Do we have any parentheses? Yes, we do. Now, the key word in algebra is always to what? Rewrite the problem. Do not, do not get lazy and try be like, oh, I just don't want to do it. I can squeeze it all in there. Don't. I promise you, you'll make more mistakes if you try to squeeze it in there instead of just uh, rewriting the problem. So let's rewrite the problem. So let's solve. Do we have any parentheses? Yes, we do. Our first parentheses is right here. So let's solve that. Four plus two is six. Okay, let's rewrite the whole problem. All right, we just took care of that. So now we have brackets times 5 divided by 60. Now, remember we said parentheses. We usually do parentheses first, then the brackets. So that's kind of what this means right here. Do the parentheses, then do the brackets. All right, so now we have our brackets. Let's solve that. What is 6 times 5? Well, that is 30. Let's rewrite our problem. We're just bringing that down. So now we have 60 divided by 30, and the answer for that is Two. Okay, let's do a few more. 
PEMDAS. P E M D A S. All right, do we have any parentheses? No. Do we have any exponents? No. Do we have multiplication and division? Yes. Let's do it from left to right. That means we're going to start this way and go that way. So let's start first. 7 times 5 is 35. Rewrite the problem. Let's finish our addition and subtraction from left to right. 35 plus 3 is 38. Let's do another problem. All right. Again, don't forget the word. The word is PEM DOS. Do we have any parentheses? Yes, we do. Let's start with that first. 28 minus 20 is 8. Let's rewrite the problem. Now we have 8 divided by 4. Let's solve that. 8 divided by 4 is 2. All right, so if you follow the rules, your answers usually in algebra should kind of look like an upside down triangle. The more we go through it, the more we get rid of stuff and we finally get to our answer. Okay, let's try it. Whoa, look at this one. This one looks pretty rough. But I promise you, if you follow the rules of PEMDAS, it will be super easy to solve this problem. So let's start off with parentheses, right? PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. Do we have any parentheses? Yes, we do. So let's start there. 15 minus 10 is 5. Don't forget, let's please rewrite the problem. So we got rid of this, right? Now we have a bracket plus 6. We have a bracket, then we have times 5. Remember, we always have to do parentheses first, those symbols. So now let's do that. 6 plus 5 is 11. Now we have 11 times 5, and that's going to give us 55. Okay, that was example number 1. In example number two, we are going to be solving uh, order of operations, but this time we're going to throw in some exponents. Sounds scary. It's not. I promise. All right, let's jump in. Again, remember the word is PEMDAS. And let's see, do we have any parentheses? Yes, we do. So we have parentheses. Now, inside the parentheses, we still have to follow the rules of PEMDAS. So we have 7 plus 2 to the third power. So looking at PEMDAS, do we do addition first or do we do exponents. Well, we do exponents first, right? So let's do this problem. Now remember, is this 2 times 3? No, 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 no. All right, that is not 2 times 3. What it is, is we have our base, which is 2, right? 2, and then this is our exponent. It tells us how many 2s we have. We have 3 of them, so 2 times 2 times 2, which gives us, right, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. So we have 7 plus 8 in parentheses. Let's just rewrite our problem. Now we can solve. 7 plus 8 is 15. Let's rewrite our problem. Now all we need to do is simplify even again. So look, this time we have division and multiplication. Now remember, what were the rules for multiplication and division? We do it, what do we do it? Left to right okay just because multiplication is in front of the the d doesn't mean we do multiplication first we do it whatever comes first so if division comes first right we do it left then we do the multiplication so let's check it out we go left to right looks like our first problem is going to be division so 30 divided by 15 is 2 let's rewrite the problem is 6 2 times 6 is 12. So the answer for this problem is 12. Now remember what I said. Our work should kind of look like an upside down pyramid. Because the more we do it, the more we are eliminating steps. Okay? Let's do some more practice problems. Here we go. PEMDAS. Do we have any parentheses? No. Do we have exponents? Yes, we do. So remember, this is not 2 times 4. No, no, no. That's actually 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So we have 16. Let's rewrite our problem. All right. And how do we do addition and subtraction? We do it left to right. We don't do 16 minus 1 first. We do it left to right. So 6 plus 16 is 22. 22 minus 1 is 21. Let's try another one. All right, same rules apply. We have PEMDAS. 
Another way you might hear it is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Again, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That's the way probably your parents learned it and your teachers learned it. But another short way is just PEMDAS. All right, so do we have any parentheses? Nope. Do we have any exponents? Yes, we do. Here's our exponent. So 3 to the second power is not 6. That's 3 times 2. That's wrong. 3 to the second power is actually 3 times 3, which gives us 9. Now, don't forget, the rules of algebra is always to what? Rewrite the problem. Don't forget. Don't get lazy. Rewrite the problem. 4 times 9 plus 18 minus 9. Now we do multiplication or addition and subtraction first. Multiplication. So now let's do that. 4 times 9 is 36. Rewrite our problem. Now we just need to solve. 36 plus 18 will give us 54 minus 9 will get us 45. Okay. Let's try one more. Looks like this one has um, parentheses. So again, PEMDAS, P E M D A S. Do we have any parentheses? Yes, we do. Let's do what's inside the parentheses first. I'm going to rewrite it. So we do our x right even here. When if we started here, what's next? What can we do inside of that problem? We can't do five squared minus seven yet, because we do have an exponent. So let's do that exponent. Five to the second power. Remember, it's not five times two. It's actually five times five. And five times five is twenty-five. Okay. So now let's rewrite the problem. What is twenty-five minus seven? Well, that's going to give us. 18. Now let's just bring everything down. We have 16 plus 18, and then we have divided by 3. All right, so do we do addition first, or do we do so, do we do we division? All right, so let's take a look. We got parentheses, exponents, then we have multiplication and division, then we have addition and subtraction. So it looks like we have a division problem here. So 18 divided by 3, that should give us 6. Please rewrite the problem. You now have 16 plus 6 will give us 22. All right, that was example number two. In example number three, we're just going to step up this, the steps and just make it a little bit harder. But I promise you, if you follow the rules, it'll be very easy to solve this. Okay, so let's see. Another way we can write this problem is let's see, we start off the nine, nine plus, and then what comes first up here? We have eight minus two, right? Eight minus 2, we're going to put in parentheses like this, and then what, what is this? What is that called? That line that's going to be divided by 3. That is one way to solve this problem. Now, the more you see it, the more you'll be just like, oh, okay, I got to do what's up top first, and then I can divide it. So let's try to solve that. We have our 8 minus 2. That's going to give us 6. Don't forget to rewrite your problem. That's what algebra is about. Do we do addition or division first? We do division. Good job. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Rewrite the problem. 9 plus 2 is 11. All right, let's try another problem. Now, one thing that I do need to tell you guys, and you should have this written down because of your notes, one way is the symbols, the X symbol, we're no longer going to use this for multiplication. It's actually going to be a dot. So like this, 3 times and the reason being is because we're going to start learning about variables really soon. And I'll tell you what that means. But that's 3 times 4. Another way to write multiplication is with parentheses. So 3 times 4 is still the exact same thing as 3 like this. This actually means 3 times 4. Okay. 3 times 4. Now I'm going to tell you a word. And it's going to make sense a little bit later on. But I'm going to say the word rainbow. Because 3 Whenever you see a rainbow, we know that means multiplication. So rainbow means multiplication. Okay. It's gonna make it's gonna be a little bit confusing now, but I promise you you'll get it. So remember, if you see a number next to a parentheses, like for example, like this right here, all right? Two plus seven. We do what's in the parentheses first. So two plus seven is nine. And then we bring this down. What did we say is over here? Well, that's multiplication. So three times 9 is 27. Okay, now let's try this problem. Let's see if we can figure it out. Looks like, well, look at that. We have a multiplication problem there. So let's follow the rules of PEMDAS. 
do we have any parentheses? Yes, we do. Let's solve what's inside the parentheses first. What is 13 plus 7? Well, that is 20. Let's rewrite the problem. We have a parenthesis there. All right. Looks like we have an exponent. Is that 4 times 2? No, that's actually 4 times 4. All right, so let's solve that. That's 16. Let's just rewrite a problem to be safe. Okay, now this is where I saw a lot of people uh, make mistakes. And they're like, oh, I got to do 10 minus 8 first. No, 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 no. Remember, we have a multiplication problem here. We even have a division problem. That is multiplication. We need to multiply this. So 8 times 20 is, does anybody know what 8 times 20 is? 8 times 20 is 160, right? 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 0 is 0. 16, 0. Now let's rewrite our problem. We have 10 minus 160 divided by 16. Now, do we do subtraction first or do we do division? PEMDAS, multiplication, division, then addition and subtraction. So let's divide 160 by 16. 16 goes into 16 one time. 16 does not go into 0. It goes into it 0 times. So we have 160 divided by 16 is 10. Let's bring the rest of it down. 10 minus 10. So it looks like the answer for this problem is 0. Okay. All right. This was example number.